And now your weather with Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Well, when it comes to the first day of fall, you have lots and lots of options. <laughs> Meteorological fall started five days ago. Unofficial fall, Labor Day plus one, begins tomorrow. And astronomical fall begins on September 22nd. So with that in mind, as we head through the next seven days, we're going to have some fall-like days and also some summer-like days. Tomorrow's going to be summer-like with highs right around 80. We will cool down into the upper 60s and lower 70s for Wednesday. Another warm-up on Saturday with temperatures rebounding close to 80 before some more cool fall-like weather conditions return on Sunday and Monday. Right now, we have temperatures that range from the upper 60s to the mid-70s across most of the viewing area. The one exception is Fond du Lac coming in at 78 degrees. As far as sky conditions are concerned, it is now mainly sunny. We had a few fair weather cumulus clouds out there earlier. Those have now dissipated as the sun sets in Green Bay at 74, and we have a very comfortable dew point coming in at 54. Quiet conditions across the state of Wisconsin today thanks to high pressure which is now slowly pulling off towards the east. Our next weather maker is a frontal boundary that's going to move in tomorrow. We've got a warm front and a cold front. That warm front separates some very pleasant conditions late fall early summer with some very hot conditions feeling like the middle of summer across the central and northern plains. All that heat is going to be pushed south and east, but we are going to tap into some of the warmth as we head into tomorrow. We'll see southwest winds turn to the north and west and become quite gusty as we move through the afternoon. At times, those winds could be gusting up to around 30 miles per hour. That will allow temperatures to warm up into the upper 70s and lower 80s across most of the viewing area. Now, as far as thunderstorms are concerned out ahead of that front, we're going to see them move through during the late Late morning and early afternoon, you can see here on the high-risk future radar that the bulk of the shower and thunderstorm activity will be out of here by the early afternoon. And with everything timing up to be mainly early afternoon, it does look like the best threat for organized severe weather is going to be on, this, uh, on the other side of Lake Michigan. Having said that, we do have a marginal threat here from the Fox Valley towards the lake shore for late tomorrow morning into the early afternoon. And that means a few storms could be on the strong to severe side with gusty winds and also some hail. Behind the cold front on Wednesday, we'll see morning sunshine give way to mostly cloudy skies by the afternoon. We'll see a few showers pop up from time to time. It's going to be windy and cooler with highs only in the upper 60s to lower 70s. Across the north, some spots probably only in the lower to mid 60s for highs. So tonight, clear skies initially, then some increasing clouds towards daybreak. Overnight lows will be in the upper 50s to lower 60s. Tomorrow, windy and warmer. A good chance of showers and thunderstorms, especially during the morning and early afternoon and then lots of sunshine for the afternoon and early evening. High temperatures will be in the upper 70s to lower 80s. My three degree guarantee for tomorrow is 80. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to feed and clothe my people in Sturgeon Bay. And we did that on Saturday. I forecast 71. The actual high temperature was 69 degrees. On Wednesday, becoming mostly cloudy and windy. A few showers are likely upper 60s to lower 70s. We'll see a lot of sunshine mixing with a few clouds on Thursday, 72 for a high. Friday looks very nice, mostly sunny, upper 70s, up to around 80 on Saturday ahead of a cold front. That cold front will kick off a few showers and thunderstorms and then usher in some cooler conditions once again for Sunday and Monday. We'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine with a few showers, upper 60s to lower 70s. Really a beautiful week and a couple spikes of, you know, summer. Yeah, summer -like tomorrow will be weather. the warmest day of the month so far, 80 wow. degrees, yeah. Another beautiful week. Yep. All right, Cameron, thank you. Still ahead here, how the ending of the enhanced